Welcome back to Valerie and Vernon Home, Vernicor Interiors. Today we'll create a placemat with a pocket. Now I'm working with fabric samples, which means that I'm going to be joining different fabrics. Important, when you are joining fabrics, make sure that your fabric contents are similar because you do not want to have any problems with shrinkage when you wash your placemat or your accessory, whatever it is, be it a pillow, whatever it is. Whenever you're joining two different fabrics, make sure that the fabric contents are similar. Now we need a smaller piece of fabric for the pocket, a larger piece for the placemat, and we're going to need lining fabric. Now for the, the fabric for the placemat, could be 8 by 12 inches or 12 by 18 inches or anywhere in between depends on the fabric that you're working with and then your pocket looks better being proportionate to your placemat but you can make it whatever size you want to make it you can attach it to the left to the right side or the left side I'm going to attach it to the left side now I have finished off the edges with a simple zigzag stitch you could use your serger and what's going to happen is the aim is to attach the pocket to the side here we need to finish off the top portion of the pocket and the right side because we are attaching it to the left if you were going to attach it to the right then you'd finish off the top and the left side okay so I take my iron and I'm just going to iron a half an inch we, you could do a double hem at the top or a single I'm doing a single hem so I just steam down the top and as I said before because I'm attaching the pocket to the left side I'm gonna seam down and half an inch just like the top on the right side so just take your measuring device and just measure a half an inch from the edge and go ahead and seam or steam the folded edge okay so what we'll have to do is we have to stitch the top hem before we attach it to the placemat okay so I'm gonna use uh, I'll take it to the sewing machine I'm gonna use a scallop stitch just a decorative stitch instead of a straight stitch you could use a straight stitch if you wanted to so I'm just gonna use a scallop stitch there we go finishing off the top edge uh, for a pocket here we go I use the scallop stitch because of the designs in the fabric they're not the same but they coordinate nicely so I just use a scallop stitch to continue with the curves that are in the, the pattern on the fabric now what we'll do next is we're gonna attach the we've already steamed this side fold it under and steam it so we're gonna attach this to the placemat we can just pin this in place to secure it and then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine again and we're gonna use the same scallop stitch and go down this side okay so there we go and we just starting to secure the pocket to the placemat there we 
you go. And then we can remove the pins. And I'll just show you. We use the same scallop stitch here. And there we go. We have attached that right side to the placemat. Just trim this piece. Next step right is here. to put the lining fabric on top of the placemat and it's going to be on the right side where you attach the pocket and just pin around the edges to secure the lining fabric and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and sew along the edges leaving a little opening so we can turn the placemat inside out when we're finished stitching. This time we're just going to use a straight stitch. Okay, so when you're finished stitching around the edges of the fabric, you just of the placemat, just gonna take your scissors and trim all the excess threads before you turn it inside out. And if there's any fabric to trim, you trim any excess. Then, to make it easier, when you're stitching, you don't have to try to turn a corner. You can just stitch across, stitch across, and then at the corners, you can just snip off the corners so that the corners are not too bulky. And now we're ready to turn our placemat inside out and that we're going to do through the little opening that we left when we stitched around the edges of the placemat. So just gently pull it through. And just pull out the corners and then you can just take your scissors and gently make sure it's closed poke the corners out push them all the way out and there we have it we have now inverted the placemat and the next thing we're going to do is to steam along the edges just clip off this thread. Okay, so you just take your iron and steam the placemat to get it flat, especially along the edges. Here we have our pocket. And this is where we have the opening that we left so we could invert the placemat. You're just going to go ahead and make sure you tuck in the folded part before you steam it. Tuck it in neatly just steam it down. Now that opening we could close by either hemming with needle and thread or we could use a piece of fusing tape just like this and just pop in the little opening and steam it down so that it fuses the two pieces of fabrics together. And you could flip the placemat 
and do the same at the back just steam the back steam along the edges to get it nice and flat and make sure that the area where you put the fusing tape you actually hold your iron there for just a couple of seconds to make sure that the tape the fusing tape melts and fuse the two pieces of fabrics together okay so then we have closed the opening there is no more opening and do you have any threads that you need to clip you just clip excess threads and there we have it a placemat with a pocket now you could put two pockets on or you could put the pocket to the right instead of the left and you could actually use your pocket for utensils for cutlery and you could also use it for a napkin a placemat with a pocket now i hope you enjoy making your own placemat with a pocket until next time take care